It is a gorgeous morning today. Look at the way the uh, sun's just kind of getting through the trees, through the fog. A little foggy, a little chilly. I think it's a couple of degrees at the moment. Lost my dog. Don't know where my dog went. He's around. Mmm. Horsey check. There he is. What is he doing? I think we have a cat or something living with us somewhere. Um, <laughs> look at him. He's got something. What am I gonna do? Oh well. Sniff it around. Uh, I saw a cat down that way behind the shelter. It's weird. What is the cat doing here? Anyhow. So, this guy's doing pretty good. He's got two shelters, two loads of hay. He's doing great. And then there's this girl. Hello, Lena. Are you out of food? You're not out of food. What, what can I help you with today? You just need some scratches? It's good. I haven't given scratches in a little while, have I? Oh, look at the camera. <laughs> have I almost got it? Oh, that's about it. All right, all right. Moving on, we got to check out other horses. Yeah, it's a really nice morning. Ah, uh, crisp. I think it's somewhere around two degrees Celsius, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Pretty close to freezing, two degrees off of freezing. A uh, couple more weeks and then the days start getting longer here in North America, or the Northern Hemisphere, I guess is probably a better way to put it. Um, very greasy. It's just a beautiful day. Look at that. Some fiery shots of goodness. What are you doing? Hanging out at the gate like that. What do you think? You want some more training today? She says, scratch my shoulder right here if you could. Right there. No? What the? Have I got it wrong? I can't have this wrong. There we go. This guy says you got you don't quite have it. We're getting there. <laughs> Is it higher up? No, it's lower down. It's forward. Oh god, I don't know. I don't know. I'm out. Hi Peggy. You guys are almost done all your food, you piglets. Okay, moving on to the next horses. You guys are probably wondering, where's Roni? What'd you do with Macaroni? He used to be up there. I moved him down here. I thought I would give um, Ruli a little more company. And it's working. Oh, look at that. Bam. Sunlight in the lens. Hi, Roni. You. <laughs> What's with the piece of hay sticking out of your mouth? He's a real western horse. Or is it just sticking out of your nose? Oh, it's just sticking on your nose. Eh. Hi, buddy. Are you having fun back here with Luke? Are you guys having some arguments? Don't hit the camera. What? People were wondering why Ronnie was so difficult to get through the gate. So he so seems so weird about that. He can't possibly have a big problem with the gate, you know, he just does. I can't get him past it. <laughs> Takes forever. Luke, Mr. Sleepy. Look at his lip. I think it's even, Brody. I think it's even, uh, you're, he's taking cues from this guy. <laughs> you guys are adorable. This is going to be the thumbnail for this video. Like something like, uh, not that. I don't want a sideways face. Give me your, here. 
That's better, right? Like that. That's it. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> What's better? You're looking at Rui for something. I don't know. Hi, Roni. Why does Roni do that? Why does Roni have trouble getting through peachy spots and gates? I don't know. Um, I get a lot of questions on, well, why do horses do certain things? You know, why do they get bothered over whatever? Zeus! Zeus! Let's get him. Here he comes. Come on, buddy. Come on. Jeez. Wow, I see him coming, but I'm looking in the um, the viewfinder, the little screen, right? And I think I'm going to turn as fast as he comes, but yeah, I just can't do it. Yowzers. Okay. Uh, so, I get a lot of I get a lot of questions about well, why does my horse do whatever and why scared of whatever you just kind of think I don't know you know sometimes you can kind of figure it out there's usually something but just work it out just keep working at it so we just keep working at it some days he's great others he's not All right what you he says, nope, just scratch there. Don't touch head. Scratch. What? What is happening? I was trying to scratch up here just a second ago. Am I almost done? What am I doing? Down further, this way. I don't know, you're hard to read today. Toodaloo. Right, Zeus? Hard to read, man. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So when you kind of get your your you get your horse and they can't handle something, scare some pinchy spots, tarps, whatever. Why is my horse so? I don't know. But just keep working until it's consistently working, and then it'll work, and you'll be happy. Your horse will be happy. There's Lena. What's happening, big girl? I do with you guys today man it looks different here so different no big trees open sky had a lot of questions about the tree sorry I haven't got back to everybody yet um, a lot of people sad to see it go me too it is a big old tree and oh hello Lena. <laughs> chitty chatty chitty chatty hey um, it's a big old tree and it's too bad that it's gone. It's true. It happens. Trees get old. Become a safety concern. If it was just out in a forest or something, no problem. <laughs> Scratch harder, she says. Okay. That's a lot of work. And hold the camera. So, uh, it is, it's sad, it sucks. I like the tree a lot as well, it looks good, but on the same note, it looks kind of cool being open now. See the sky, it's a beautiful day. All right, we're gonna get on with the day now. That horsey check. Look at my stool from yesterday. <laughs> Is a. Okay, Zeus and I are out. We've got things to do. We're busy. One of the things we have to do is fix that shelter soon. And it's a beautiful day to get on with some stuff, so we're going to do that. So I'll see you guys a little bit later. Yeah. Well, good morning, everybody. It's morning for me. It's three days later than the video I just put ahead of this one. It's so busy. Uh, I want to talk about Lena. I want to finish this video and get on with another video. But I want to talk about a little bit about fear in Lena. And uh, we did a live stream of trimming her hooves and she would be shuffled back and forth and moving and all that kind of stuff because she was a little bit worried. Yes, it could be the weather. But I mean, everybody had their teeth done in here and it wasn't the most 
on this. Would you stop doing that? Come forward. There, just stand there. Bring your back feet up. Good girl. Ooh, getting close to the camera though. So she's jittery. I'm gonna rub her. Tell her I'm here. A little bit more. Okay. And hi, Lena. What are you doing? What do you need? Scratches? Scratches again? Scratches? She says, come on, human. Right. Not there. Ooh, ow. Yuck. When you do that and you look, it's already on the camera. Ah. Um, the sand pops up and you're like, ah, it's getting in my... Anyhow, so um, the live stream trimming her hooves she's a little bit worried being inside of that thing there there that so um i wanted i mean the reason i was doing the live stream was to sort of over exaggerate or accentuate the process that sometimes it takes for you guys to work with your own horses maybe not necessarily that a professional might do like somebody who comes to trim or or uh, uh, do your horse's feet or a vet or something like that. Because they probably don't really want to train your horse, they just want to get on with the job and get moving. But for us as owners to come along and say, okay, I'm gonna deal with my horse's worry or anxiety and stuff like that. I did a conversation a while back about fear. There's this one, there's a chapter in here that really reverberates almost on a daily level. Mm -hmm. I, even today I had another conversation about this topic and the discussion I'd like to have I'd like to sort of make up put a discussion out there I know there'll be a bunch of comments which is perfect is what I want and then I'm going to do sort of a part two and we'll build on that and maybe a part three and and discuss uh, fear look at this guy <laughs> kind of dirty hey Rue good looking boy that's a weird bird. What was that? I don't know. Anyhow, so the um, the conversation I did a while back uh, about <laughs> it's all kinds of what the about fear and uh, so talking a little bit about Lena, I just wanted I had quite a few good suggestions. Um, you know, uh, should maybe don't do uh, scary procedures in there like teeth or shots or I don't know surgery or something uh, you know or 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 do the things that you want to do in a place that they're comfortable in and my suggestion to that was Lena it's bugging me it's right on your eyeball here look oh it's in your hair that's why a little tiny piece of hay my suggestion to that was if I don't work in a place that she's worried because I have the time for it. That's my job as both the owner and of course I, I trim professionally as well. So um, I need to be able to do my job a little bit better and easier for her. Uh, so I got to push her to get the job done in the location that I have built specifically for said things for horses and more horses and some look at these guys dancing at the gate Gracie every day she sits there and looks at me and says come play there's those guys back there anyhow so my point is just like us as humans if you sort of have that negative what? What, Lena? What is it? What can I help you with again? <laughs> she has got to be, has to be the most adorable, snuggly, wuggly, scritchy, scratchy, chitty chatty. I'm not scratching that. No, I'm not. You have to convince somebody on the YouTubers, the internet, to come and do this job for you. But to push her past those concerns and say, 
you're okay, you're with me, for one. And two, it's a safe place. Nothing's happening. We are simply trimming your feet. So the environment shouldn't matter per se. I mean, obviously, she may have those residual memories. She may be thinking, I don't want to be, but she didn't want to be in there when, before we did the teeth, because it's kind of a new, closed off, echoey, you can kind of hear cars sort of place. So for me, and what I would like to encourage others to do, if you can, if you feel safe to do so, is get your horse past those things, those gaps that you're going to find that you may not find if you just continue to keep them in a place or, uh, you know, maybe you need to tie them up because you're too worried, you don't want to handle them, it takes too long. All those little gaps, you want to be able to ground tie them, which essentially just means make them stay. Look at her. Look at, look at how hard it is to make her stay. Stay, Lena, stay. Look, it's a statue. Right? So, that should carry everywhere. Um, and it must be done with patience. And that's what I was also trying to explain. I mean, it took over an hour to trim her feet. Of course, I'm talking and I'm showing and I'm moving the camera and stuff. Patience. Pretty soon, won't be a problem. We will start off where we ended off. Stay, Lena, stay. Ah, ah, you're in big trouble. Come here. Stop. Good girl. Okay. <laughs> Everybody loves Lena's butt. Because it's big, white, and round. Urgh. I want to scratch it, but I don't want to. Okay, I'm going to end that off there. I hope you guys enjoyed that little speech. If it makes any sense, I hope it does. Um, there's the dog. Let's add Zeus into the mix. Zeus, what are you doing? On a side note, actually, <laughs> much to Zeus's trouble, I would, I would, I would think. I think I mentioned this. Uh, we have a stray cat hanging around. It was in the solarium, sleeping this morning. Saw it last night. Woke up this morning. Checked the solarium. There's a little kitty cat in there. It has been named Mousy. Hopefully. Hopefully Zeus doesn't, well, I don't know. Do we want a stray cat, Zeus? It's just a little thing, it's just a little. Not this little, but it's kind of little. Anyhow, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Any questions, stick them down below. We'll see you guys very soon, right Zeus? Where's Mousy? I don't really want him eating the cat or nothing like that, but he's actually not very good with cats, kind of scared of them. <laughs> See you guys soon.